part of the is I met Sam through the photographs of a thigh. I mean, it's amazing that suddenly, you know, one meets one of the greatest dramatists of the 20th century through the ordinariness of life. I mean, when you look at these photographs here and you think, and I look at them, I pick them up day in, day out, and I think, Samuel Beckett looked at these photographs in the summer of 1980 in the High Park Hotel, room 604, and as a consequence of seeing, he saw more than I did when he looked at the pictures. I didn't know what he was looking at, but now I realize I had been photographing Beckettian characters. So in 1980, Beckett is in London, and, and I get an opportunity to, to meet Beckett. He's staying at the Hyde Park Hotel in London. But I, I, I've written to him, I've sent him a note, and, and Sam acknowledged the fact that you know, he'd received my note, and he, and he would like to see the photographs of a thigh, and, and in particular the sequence on the wake. And that was the beginning. And what I didn't know at that point, of course, as he's sitting in, uh, on the bed in room 604, and he's looking through this, these photographs of a thigh, and he comes across the pictures of, of the wake of Katie Tyrrell, and other images, of course, characters, people, people like, people like Peter Boland, John the Baptist, Marr, Mary Byrne, lots of people who had photographed. You know, and then he'd pick up a picture and say, who's this? And I'd say, that's Peter Boland. And, and Sam said, that's a nice portrait. What I have recognized through the years afterwards is that, you know, when he looked at the photographs of the wake of Katie Tyrrell and the mirror strata with a white sheet, of course, Sam understood exactly what he was looking at in that sequence of pictures, which I didn't know. He was, he was seeing more in my photographs than I actually saw myself.